friend, uh, it's another weekend. I hope you had a great one. I hope you took time to reflect and uh, enjoy life the way it's supposed to be by uh, having the audacity to live life uh, on, on the edge. Now, this weekend, I want to share with you some thoughts that uh, come, from, uh, come from a very special place. I spent my time uh, last weekend with my mom, uh, my wonderful mom turned 71. She's, she's an awesome, awesome lady. Uh, she turned 71 and we went to see her with the grandkids and everybody else and uh, it was it was a lovely, lovely day. Uh, and uh, as usual, my mom is one of those people who is who just wants to make everybody, you know, happy and comfortable before she does anything for herself. So uh, she runs around, runs around, make sure everybody's fed, make sure everybody is, is happy and contented, everybody has got a drink. And then uh, at a certain stage after she's, she had also had her drink, uh, it comes time to to open the presents and she looks at all the presents and she's very grateful gets a little bit emotional da, 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 which was great to see uh, and then a magical moment comes where uh, all of a sudden she just you know stands up and uh, says hey guys i need to share something with you and uh, naturally you know mom wants to speak mom wants to speak so we all uh, keep quiet and she says you know what first i want to thank you guys for being uh, there for me and for looking after me, da, 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 which was great, um, that she was still appreciative. Uh, but this was the, the, the important thing. All of a sudden, she said, guys, I want to share with you uh, what is it that uh, keeps me young. Uh, you know, at 71, she still looks great. She still has, you know, a great sense of humor. She still, uh, you know, she still does uh, awesome things, you know. And naturally, you get you get curious, how, how is she doing it? You know, but also you ask yourself, you know, will I be like her when, when I'm 71? Will I be able to live, uh, to live uh, the kind of life she's living at 71? So anyway, she goes into telling us uh, what uh, her four things are that have kept her uh, the way she is. Uh, and in a way, it was her secret to success and longevity in life. And she said, uh, because most of us were her children, uh, she had children, her friends, and uh, lots of grandkids. She said, guys, the number one thing I must share with you is that learn to love unconditionally. I mean, think about that. Love, learn to love unconditionally. Love your friends unconditionally. Love your brothers and sisters. I think initially it was for me and my sisters and you know uh, other siblings. But she said, you know what? One of the greatest things you can do is to love to learn learn to love each other unconditionally and that that was quite powerful you know because she said you know all the years all my friends that i have had for years and years and years i've loved them unconditionally and that keeps me young that keeps me alive the second thing she said was um learn to be grateful every day for every little thing that you have and learn to be grateful that you woke up learn to be grateful for for the fact that you can breathe learn to be grateful for you know you name it just learn to be grateful that will make you live longer that will make you live happier you know some i was actually envious at a certain stage how happy at 71 she is how vibrant she is and you know i'm thinking damn at, at my age sometimes i get caught up into the hustle of the world and you know sometimes you you forget you forget to be grateful you forget to be grateful for for some of the simplest things in life so she said guys learn to be grateful for every little thing. I thought that was very powerful. The next uh, point that uh, my mom said to us that was important was uh, be the best friend that you can ever be for your friends. Now, that could be related to love unconditionally, but she made it a much more separate point of be the best friend that your friends can be. Let, you know, uh, my mom has got all these people who all of them claim she's their best friend. And uh, it was fascinating. I've always wanted to ask, but I was thinking, sometimes we laugh about it. You know, there, there's lots of her friends who are fine and say, hey, how are you? Uh, so, uh, how, how is it? You've come to visit. She says, I've come to visit my best friend. And the next one comes, I've come to visit my best friend. Then the next one comes, I've come to visit my best friend. So, uh, it was fascinating. I mean, how many best friends do you have? How many people would call you their best friend? Uh, it, it was uh, <laughs> it was it was a great a great insight. It was a great revelation. Um, learn to be the best friend to all your friends. 
and you know i i am consciously beginning to think about all my friends and thinking you know what i better start working hard on this stuff uh, if it is going to give me longevity and happiness might as well you know and the final one the the fourth uh, thought uh, for this weekend is she said forgive 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 yourself forgive others forgive everything forgive everybody <sighs> think about it uh in in your pursuit of of happiness and longevity uh, one of the things that really keeps us from from uh from living a joyful life is we, we hold on to a lot of stuff we hold on to things that are not important we hold on to anger from the past uh by the fact that uh she said forgive each other uh, you know initially i thought do i have any problem my sister said we have any beef or something going on but no she just said you know what just forgive everything and everybody because in forgiving you find happiness in forgiving you find happiness which happiness is the foundation of success so there you are my friend uh those are thoughts from the best mom in the world i love my mom to bits i think she's the greatest mom in the world and uh, from those four principles i think you can tell she is the greatest mom in the world so whatever you see what whatever you do whatever you uh, you get up to this weekend live strong uh, be happy and forgive everybody thank you and see you soon